Hi guys, the Wheel Wonder here again today. First, uh, first YouTube video I'm doing in 2017. So I'd like to wish you all Happy New Year. I hope it goes well for you. I hope it's a good year, and I hope it's better than the last year. Now, first of all, guys, no matter what happens in football, things don't change. Wolves drew nil-nil today. We played well. You know, we we had chances. We hit the crossbar, followed by missing from three yards. Joel Mason missed from about two, three yards. How can you miss from there? You've got to nail those in. Second half beginning, he hit the post. Doherty had an effort cleared off the line. You know what I mean? Clearing off the line, that, you've got to give credit to Sheffield Wednesday. That's, that's good defending. But, you know, it just wouldn't go in for us. But the biggest thing I've got to talk about, I'll come back to the chances in that later, but the biggest thing we've got to talk about is referee. Referee, penalty. Yeah, there was one penalty incident where Mason got between the ball and the bloke and he's gone there okay you've seen free kicks given for that you've seen free kicks not given right so really you could say that's a penalty but but for us to have a free kick and a free kick or corner I wasn't there my mate was but he, he said to me it was a free kick oh, I don't know free kick or corner it's fell to Matt Doherty and it's you know it, it, it's like he's not the ball Kieran Westwood He's a decent goalkeeper, he's come out, clattered into it, you know, dived at his feet, took him down. One of the clearest penalties you'll ever see in your whole life. And the referee gives a goal kick. The referee has given a goal kick. The linesman hasn't done anything, the referee has given them a goal kick. The Paul Lambert's furious, the bench are furious, the players are furious. You know, what is it with referees in England, in inconsistency? It's one of the clearest penalties you can see. About how and even this he's not giving it. Well, he's not giving it. it and that just sums up to me. I know as Wolves fans, you know, you're going to be fuming at that, you know, especially at that time. But let's be honest, as a Wolves fan, Riley. I've I'm not surprised to be honest. I'm not surprised. We've seen it at Villa. We've seen it at Derby. You know, we've seen it several times this year. We are getting decisions against us. We, we, you know, and that's where your look needs to change. You know, but. There was sh several handball shapes from the Sheffield Wednesday fans, but most of it was because Stearman was getting in the way. I don't know, there might have been handballs, but I don't, you know, but it's just, it's, it's just one of them things, isn't it? But if the referee's not going to give a clear one, and then he gives one like that, you know, it's even worse. But um, apparently Paul Lambert waited for the referee at half-time, and to be honest, if I was the Wolves manager, I would have done a lot more than wait for him at half-time, because that is... He's got to come out and say something about it. You've got to come out and say something about it. You've got to show that you're going to wear the Wolves badge on your jacket and you've got to come out now and go, that is poor refereeing. That is poor re That's what he's got to say. As I say, we did have chances. I can't just say it was one team, you know, or the referee's fault. We had chances. We had chances. And yet again, none of our strikers can score. The good news is, is that we kept a clean sheet. First game in 2017, and our defence stood pretty firm. One of their main chances that Sheffield Wednesday had was because of one man at the back winning the ball back and then being sloppy on it. And I'm sure Wolves fans will not be surprised when I say that player was Danny Bath. But Stearman, on his A game, threw himself in front of to block the shot and that. And Stearman is doing really well. Bath can do well in places but he keeps making these mistakes that cost us goals now we are linked with Luke Chambers in the transfer window and we've also been linked with uh, I've, I've read this Callum Wilson is not going to come here let's get rid of that one Luke Chambers maybe that will be good he is experienced in the championship and it will give competition to Stearman and Bath and hopefully that can up Bath's say game uh, well up Bath from his very low game to a good game but Wonder of the week, guys. Do it at the end every week. Wonder of the week, Richard Stearman. All I heard on the radio and, and saw my mate let me know was Richard Stearman winning the ball back, putting blocks in. And that is what you want from your centre-back. Until next time, guys, see you in a bit.